Dr. Olushola Ajide here again. In this particular video, I would like to address the issue of supervisor-supervisee relationship. Um, and it's a very important uh, topic and issue which you need to give attention to. Um, uh, it could liken the relationship between a supervisor and a supervisee to more like a marriage in which you know, there, are, there are communications, there are issues that, that, that need to be you know, handled to be able to sustain relationship. So quickly, what happens if you have issues with your supervisor? What happens if there is breakdown in that particular relationship? What should you do? And first and foremost, right from the start of your PAG process, you need to be intentional in whatever you are doing and keep track of the relationship. First remember that it is your PhD and you are the one that is going to um, get the degree at the end of the day. Your supervisor is only trying to guide you. They can only provide guidance. So what happens if your supervisor the relationship between yourself and the supervisor does not go well. What should you do? Uh, first and foremost is that within whatever university you find yourself, there are steps and procedures of how to air your, your disagreements or air your, your grievance in, for, in that particular relationship. Make sure you exploit all the procedures that has been put um, in place. And as you are trying to explore that, that particular procedure, remember that, just like I said earlier, in marriage, for you to have a strong and su successful marriage, the issue of communication is, is key. And therefore, you must have constant communication via email or one-on-one, -on -one, face, face to face in, in meeting with your supervisor to ensure that you are both on the same page. Secondly, is the issue of timelines. I know, of course, when you meet your supervisors, you agree on what was going to be done, what level of work to be done. Try as much as possible not to miss those, those particular deadlines. Ensure you meet the deadlines. And as you try and ensure you meet the deadlines, that will help you, you know, to push your journey and make it a better and a robust uh, 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 program. And also, during your PhD pro process, in this supervisor-supervisor relationship, another thing that could help is the issue of you making presentations. Make it, like, for my, in my own personal experience, my supervisor, I do have, you know, these presentations in which I book a room, and come with slides to bring my ideas and critique my ideas to be able to know how to move, go to the next level. So ensure that you have, you know, presentations for your supervisory team in which they're able to critique your program, uh, what your project, and see how it's going and see if you are on course. And I believe if you take this very important because the supervisor supervisee relationship is very critical to the success of your PhD program. So if there's a breakdown in your relationship with your supervisor, of course, finishing your PhD program, it's actually going to be very hard, or it might not be possible. So I, I advise that you should ensure that you manage your supervisor very well. Manage the relationship. Manage his or her expectation. Manage the relationship. Manage your timelines. Manage everything and ensure that you do uh, you you don't fall out of that particular relationship i'll see you again in the next video on another interesting topic thank you bye